to our YouTube video. We're so glad you're here to join us. Chad was unable to be here because he is on a mission that we'll tell you about in a little bit. So Baylor. Stuck with me. We Crazy. packed up all of our stuff from Bend and headed down to Tahoe. It was an amazing drive. We passed Shasta that was just full of snow and brought back a lot of memories. Three of us have summited that mountain and Chad actually hiked his skis up and skied down that mountain. And then we got to Tahoe, picked up Chad from Reno that evening. It's only three in the morning Chicago time and one o'clock in the morning here in Tahoe, but we're back. Janice just picked me up from the airport. I've been coaching and now I'm home. And I say home, we're at a place in, in uh, Tahoe, gonna ski squaw, but look at this place. We were hoping there'd be snow. Check it out. That's the pathway to get into the door. And it literally is deep, baby. The yeah. snow was so deep that you could barely see it the house. It was so deep. Yeah, there's literally like the kids, so you couldn't tell if they were walking on the second story of a roof or the actual snow. It was like 20 feet deep, so. And crazy. it made just an amazing playground for the kids. <laughs> Total bluebird, great skiing. I mean, Squaw Valley is like a second home to us. Mount Bachelor is where we kind of stay regularly, but Squaw Valley is kind of a home away from home. We just love that mountain. We love the village. The snow and the cliffs there are insane, and we just had a blast. I felt like we know the mountain, and the mountain knows us, so it's, it, it was is. so much fun. It just fun. makes me happy inside. Katie and Elisha came down, drove seven hours down there just to, for one day of skiing. Yeah, they did so good. Katie is five month, months pregnant, and she skied National Shoot, which is, I mean, really steep uh, on the Palisades, and she was like doing super good. And Elisha, who is just like so gung-ho, um, just jumps right in with the family and skis. Even if it scares him a little bit, he's like, you know what, I'm still doing this. And he skied extremely well as well. So we are so awesome. proud of him. Youngest skier ever to do Palisades in five months in gestation here. Yeah. Never, not even out of the move, Katie yeah. rips it up. And then Elisha goes down. Yeah. How was that, guys? It, it was scary for me at the top. <laughs> That's good though. It's good to do that. It's good Every to do things while, that scare you. you can, you That's know? right so good we're back at the house here there's nothing greater after skiing as a family check this out bennels see the chicken over here look at this we're doing some uh, barbecue chicken on the grill oh man it's so good stay on the slopes to get home barbecue get the family gathered around and enjoy a great meal together what a phenomenal day we had today at squaw <laughs> highlights from her wedding and Kaylee's highlights and we're gonna actually put a link to that so that you guys can look at that I think it's about four minutes long but it is just a really sweet memories and next day my brother came Mark they call him the legendary uncle Mark <laughs> just 
a one of a kinder. Okay, he hasn't skied in five years, oh, but yeah. he bought some gear from a garage sale. Oh, the skis were Metro. like 50 years old, and the boots were like cracking yeah. in half. Joining us for a family ski day, <laughs> Uncle Mark here, Indeed. Manic of the North. He lives in a hut in Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> that is not quite My right. My last run was pretty intense, yes. and I think <laughs> I sort of shredded the, <laughs> the boot instead of the slope. And so, I got in the car with these boots. Yeah, he was I am ready not to roll. related this to this Janice's guy. This is Janice's older brother who she. It respects greatly, believe it or not. No, awesome. your own blood, Janice. How could it be? Okay. Just remember, Johnston's got the tea in it, all right? Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> and the things of Earth shall grow strangely do. We had a blast skiing with him. Oh, yeah, that was so much fun. And you know, he's just living proof that anybody can ski. You can ski with junk gear. Everybody say goodbye to Uncle Mark. Oh, he's got a very oh, special oh, hat. Yeah. Thank great you for family, coming, Mark. Chad. Great family, Janice. Great and, time. Uh, safe skiing tomorrow, huh? Thank you. We enjoyed a date night at North Star. Went over there and saw the ice skating rink. It's a beautiful village, um, little fireplaces all around. And we took the gondola up to the Ritz Carlton, and they actually have a circular fireplace up there and they used to let you order food and sit on the couch and eat right next to the fireplace but apparently that's just for guests. We went and got Mexican takeout and just went to uh, the lake there. Well as they say you never know what a date may bring forth. Anyways Janice and I went and got Mexican food at a takeout place here in Kings Beach right on the shores of Lake Tahoe. <laughs> Here at Squaw, and man, only at Squaw, we're ripping down headwall here. Uh, or maybe falling down because we we're so tired. End of the day, <laughs> but man, we have someone go, Hey guys, from the lift, and it's Johnny Mosley. Of all people. Yeah. Of all people, Johnny Mosley, man, at Squaw, he's giving us a hello. So, hello, Johnny Mosley. Keeping out the same. Yeah. All across this land. Where are we, Janice? 
Casey. Uh, Squaw Valley on our way to San Clemente. San Clemente. Yes. I'm out this morning. Sun is coming up over the mountains. Beauty day and we got a road trip going south. Couple hours in belt and pulley like got shredded and fell off and we we literally heard like a conk Chad what's wrong? We lost a pulley. Um, we lost a pulley. It apparently controlled both our power steering and uh, our coolant. So we're just sitting there I'm just whipping out school with the kids. Anytime I have a chance to do school, we're doing school. Kelsey's over there working out with weights. And all of a sudden, a big old long Hummer pulls up, a limousine. And, and Chad's all your ride is here. I'm like, what are you talking about? Apparently they couldn't find two Uber drivers to come pick us up because the family's so large. So they're, um, they were resourceful and got a limousine. So. And that was awesome. I think we really enjoyed riding in the back of that. Was Windows that your down. first time? First time in a limousine yeah. and uh, you know, it was a great experience. So we had a 26 mile ride to the Modesto Mercedes Benz dealership where we got the van fixed. And so that was gonna be a two day ordeal. So we rented two cars, came down here to San Clemente to my sister's house, Jolinda and her husband, Brad and their children. We've just had a ball down here. We got a lot of family down here and it was fun to see them. There's Justin, the surf dog. Yes! Yeah. Hey, boo! Boo! He and Baylor went out serving this morning. Oh, yeah. yeah. Entry. We're about, I don't know, a quarter mile from the beach. We're gonna go by drain all the way to the beach, riding skateboards down the tunnel. It's gonna be sketch. Hi, it's completely black and I know that because we're in a tunnel and we're sending it down to the ocean in a storm drain. Uh, scary when a spider brushes your cheek. We had to go through the sand tunnel and eat a sour weed. Jalinda, my sister, is so sweet. She's my best friend. She's a year and a half younger than I am, and she prepared this wonderful Thanksgiving turkey meal oh, and just yummy. gave this little speech about how thankful she was for our family and just made me cry. And then we had some friends join us in St. Clemente, uh, Anthony Turpin and Holly Warner. Hey, we have Holly. She came out hey. with us. Turpin uh, has really given Caroline, who makes these YouTube videos, a lot of input on the tech side. He is super great and uh, shout out to him for helping make these things work. Also, we did a Skype interview of all things right. with a new TV show that's coming out. It's going to be called Where, Where in, in the, the World. World. That's right. And I guess it's comparable to something like The Amazing Race, but it's only one week and it's five members from your family. So. They interviewed Chad, myself, um, Kelsey, Baylor, and Caroline. So I don't know where that's gonna go, but we'll see. They're supposed to let us know at the end of April or beginning of May, but stay tuned, we'll let you know.
this morning, Chad and Kelsey woke up at 4.30 this morning to go Ooh. up and pick up the van, come back here. They won't be back here till 10.30 tonight yep. so that we could all ski at Big Bear tomorrow at Snow Summit. Hey there, I got Kelsey in the rig here and we just are leaving Modesto. We got up at 4.15 this morning, San Clemente, California, drove to Modesto. The, they told us the van would be ready at 10.15, 10.30 this morning. Uh, we're just leaving Modesto and it's 5 o'clock. Anyway, so that wraps up this week. It was a whirlwind of it a week. It was, but lots of fun memories. Thank you for joining us. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and um, subscribe or share it with somebody else. Oh, oh, oh.